Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of The Wolf Among Us. Last time we started off the episode right into the middle, pretty much right in the middle of combat when we uh, got to the Lucky Pond and Woody and the Jersey Devil were having some kind of a fight over who apparently the Jersey Devil had his axe, had the woodcutter's axe and the woodcutter was like, who the fuck do you sell it to? We got in the middle of it and Jersey Devil just started knocking us around, so we're like, fuck you. Uh, Woodcutter managed to find his axe, and we beat the shit out of the Jersey Devil, basically. And Jersey Devil said, like, Crane's coat is in the back, and he was taunting us, saying, like, you can't do anything, good man. Whatever, have Crane's shit, who cares? Uh, we actually managed to find the missing piece of the, uh, the magic mirror in the coat. When we got back to the the woodland apartments, the the office. Snow was in the middle of a f argument uh, with Bluebeard and Toad. Uh, while Buffkin was trying to put the mirror together, we talked to Toad about his whole glamour things, basically giving one last chance. If he doesn't get glamoured up, he's going on the farm. And I don't know what Bluebeard wanted. He basically just walked away at the end. Uh, Buffkin managed to get the mirror fixed found out that uh, Bloody Mary is sending Crane away to Paris and we looked to see where the Crooked Man's door is because it moves around and Snow recognized the door it's currently on, it's apparently in the middle of Central Park, so that's where we're headed right now I don't live in New York, but isn't like Central Park like huge? Uh, I'm okay. Well, let's look at the door first. That's I guess. it, all right. Oh, that's it. Okay, just open the door. We're like right in front of it. How do we end up behind it? Like way back. <laughs> Very nice hiding. Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. Wait, Tim is in like Tiny Tim? From uh, Christmas Carol? Huh. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Tiny Tim. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call, so thanks for not giving me a hard time. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know, they said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. I don't want to get in trouble. Okay. Can you just follow me? Fine, lead on. That's a symbol without the actual man in the wheel. Like a curl around the spokes. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. I was a little surprised myself when they asked me to do it. <laughs> I thought it was a joke, actually. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous, especially for someone like you. It's not like that. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. So I hope you two can come to an understanding. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? You 
work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty, too. It's not so bad. Not so bad? Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? I'll wait for him. I'll wait for him. Thanks. <laughs> Am I some kind of a fucking joke to you? What did I tell you, eh? Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah? Mate, I am Go ahead. Shitty. You got a job to do. It's the wolf I got him. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Oh, fuck. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. I'm wondering if he put Tim on guard on per well, obviously on purpose, but in order to lower our guard. You know what I mean? Because Tiny Tim, like, he's, like, he's super nice, you know? Like, he's disabled. You want to be nice to the guy. It, it seems like a manipulation, you know what I mean? I guess that's what he does. You see, everyone in Fabletown has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Smoke. And intro. I think. Oh, that was I the end of the chapter? stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, now they scream. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. Interesting. I didn't realize it was going to be the end. You just sent Colin to the farm. You and 85.5% of players decided Colin should not go to the farm. Did you attempt to remove Nerissa's ribbon? 63.8% of players did not try to remove the Really? That's a lot lower than I thought it was going to be. So I guess a lot of people just forcefully go up and like just take off the ribbon or something? It's crazy. Which crooked operation did you investigate first? 63.2% of players went to the cut above. Do you send Toad to the farm? Even 73.3% of players decided Toad should not go to the farm. For now. How did you respond to the crooked man? You went 43.7% of players lit a cigarette. That's so funny. That's pretty much the majority, considering there were four options. That That's the majority. That's so funny. <laughs> Okay, let's get right on into the next episode. Which is Crywolf. I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? <sighs> Not if I can avoid it. Uh, 
That's from the first episode. Even this is from the first episode. Yeah. I guess we're getting a full recap. No. Holly's sister. Lily. Do you even give a shit about us? The strays. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! We're not burning the tree, Snow. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. <laughs> Time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Big B, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. I'm just gonna skip this part. You've come a long way. You must be tired. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Please, Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? He says as there are guns all around. Drink. Something to eat. Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. Well, gramercy me. Take a seat at the very least. Don't misunderstand the situation here. We are not friends. You're in no position to offer me anything. On the contrary, Sheriff. And I don't wish to contradict you here, but your initiative and mine have been friendly for a long while now. Ever since I came aboard these shores. You know, Fable Town's been very accommodating of my humble ventures. Never said a bad word. And that relationship's worked till these ends. That was Crane who let you do whatever you wanted. I'm not Crane. No. You're not. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Well, Sheriff, for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You're destroying this town. You've been doing it for ages. Destroying this town? What on earth do you mean? What the hell do you think I mean? Slavery? Kidnapping? Extortion? Murder? What would you call the wholesale corruption of Fable Town? I would call it the baseless accusation of a desperate sheriff. How are you certain this isn't some conspiracy against me? I'm a well-connected man. Well-moneyed. People do like to take their shots at me. You're right that there's a conspiracy, but you're the one behind it. I have no need for treachery, Bigby. I do everything right out in the open. But I can understand the confusion, and I'm truly sorry about the trouble all this has caused you. And I hope you believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you, and to assure you that it's over with. You really don't need to worry yourself further. I know who did it. I already know who did it. Forgive me, Sheriff, for doubting your acumen, but 
Who do you think committed these crimes? It's been a long couple of days for you. Okay, so follow my logic on here. I actually don't remember the actual answer, but thinking about it, this is what comes to mind. So these are options. Georgie, Bloody Mary, Tweedles, or him. The Cricket Man. Cricket Man's not the obvious answer. Like, well, not the, not the obvious answer. He's he's not going to get his hands dirty. It's not him. Okay, it's clearly not him. The Tweedles are too clumsy um, for this kind of work. You know what I mean? Um, it, it, they're the kind of people, uh, like the Tweedles are the kind of people that would, you know, go in with like shotguns. We've seen them with nothing but shotguns. And like wrenches, like you know what I mean. They're they're too clumsy at this. They're... Bloody Mary is too brutal. You know, she goes around with a fucking gun and one shots us with a fucking silver bullet. You know what I mean? I, blood. This isn't Bloody Mary's thing. I think it's Georgie. Because he has access to all the girls. He knows where they are at all times, pretty much, and he knows about the spell with the with the ribbons that's my logic on this i again i don't remember if i'm right or not but i think it's georgie perhaps you've become somewhat unscrewed it was georgie all right well done sheriff i'm sorry i doubted you however like i said i'd be handling the matter if you don't mind yeah i killed him so what you should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, the fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And you then attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this? So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this fucker. Take all of them. I didn't fucking Don't start make this. Any trouble, Georgie? Are you seriously throwing me under the fucking carriage? No deals. It's over. So get up. I'd advise against that approach, Bigby. You can't just hand me over. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I'd give a fuck if I'm the one Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of I here! I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him! Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? Yeah, what the fuck? You're gonna make sure we all go down this shitter with you? I told you! I'm not going anywhere. This could have gone so well. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Hello again. <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. Really? To say it was nice knowing you. Uh, 
I like to say the same thing. This way. You want round two? Really? Miss that my muscles move for some reason. I mean, I don't know why I'm chasing them like this. Where else are they gonna go? They gotta go to the pudding and pie. Gun it! Are you sure? Do it! He's not moving. Keep going! Yeah, see? Come on. Just conveniently has the same clothes we've always been wearing. It's so funny. Let's take a look at the car, I guess. I mean, yeah, obviously they're not in there. We saw him get out. I mean, holy shit, you cut his stomach open. Come on, we can't stay here. Uh, uh, hang on, I need a minute. Okay. How did this happen, George? Can you stand up? Uh, it's okay. Take your time. Slowly. Uh, oh, it's no fucking use. No way I'm walking out of here. Well, it won't be your fault. It'll all land on me in the end. But it isn't. Oh, fuck. Here. Uh, it's gonna be okay. We'll get you fixed up. Maybe Swineheart... Swineheart don't give a shit about us. Knock, knock. Shit. 
Hello, Bigby. I hoped you'd come to your senses. <laughs> oh, crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. That it, Sheriff? I'm taking you in, Georgie. Let's go. Oh, you gonna carry me? Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. Vivian, you don't know what you're doing. I'm trying to help you here. You can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man of murdered- Of course it does. Those girls- So it's all my fucking fault then. I you didn't fucking... mean- You ah! fucking- You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf too? You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? Ugh. I did what I had to! You can't fucking blame me for that. Look, I'm Sometimes just... you just have to do what you're told. Then it comes back to bite you in the ass because some good-for-nothing crooked bastard decides you're not worth shit anymore. Why'd you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? <sighs> Ooh. Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. <laughs> So he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Cause it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold me out. The both of you can go rot in hell. George, you think I'm the one to fucking blame? That's not what I meant. I was just... You're still the one who pulled the trigger. Nobody held your hand and made you go through with it. Brian, believe what you want. I can tell you've made up your mind. Doesn't matter if it's fucking true or not. Go ahead and arrest me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. Coming here, talking about options. Like it was that simple. You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me, if freeing Lily meant she had to die... Do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? I told you, you don't know the fuck about anything. Wait, how is she involved in all this? This is the original. The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off, couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet, to ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here, either. I know that, but did it have to be like this? Wait, those were your ribbons? You're in on this? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand, nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea. A gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started, anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were going to be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. And the crooked man showed up, and everything just turned to shit. Okay. 
I haven't been saying anything for a while. I've just been absorbing everything. Because, again, I've, I've played this game multiple times, but you forget the finer details, right? So she's the original. She's the reason why the girls can't talk. And she's given us a fucking sob story right now. Like, she cared for the girls. This is going to be our place, blah, blah, blah. What, why the fuck would you put the ribbons on them, then? If it's always going to come down to either them or me, you're literally shacking. You're literally making them slaves. Unable to do anything. Under pain of death. Like, no, don't give me a fucking sob story. You knew what you were doing. You're basically extending the curse to everyone else. No, I'm not buying her sob story. I'm not buying Georgie's fucking sob story. They knew what they were doing. So they can go fuck themselves. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... If you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. Stop it. I told you. Sometimes all your options are shit. We'll find another way. She she doesn't have to die. Maybe the witches Don't talk can... talk about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. I wasn't really... You're right. It's your life. I know what I've done. Wait. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here, but it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean- Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them? Vivian, wait, I- Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them, what I took away from them. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Vivian! I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian, don't! Oh. Oh. Vivian, Georgie. no! Fuck! No, 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 no! Why'd you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! Shit! Are you happy now? Is this what you wanted? Vivian, I didn't fucking mean it. I was just... Oh, fuck! Get up. Get up! Don't think so, Bigby. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? For both of us. You know the bastard deserves it. Do you care? Don't you be more worried about yourself here? Just wanted a nice image to part on. Old foundry by the river, all right? Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. You want to finish me off now? Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you want to do, right? Well, whatever it is, just get it over with. That's not who I am. Prove it then. No more games, all right? We both know how this ends. <laughs> Just make it quick. Wait, how does this work? The woodsman gets an axe to the fucking head and he lives. But he gets cut, like, sliced in the gut. And he and he dies? What sense does that make? <sighs> Do I kill him or leave him to die? I mean, the humane thing would be to just kill him. I know what I did. 
Let's not draw this out. All right, Georgie. called there because this episode's already gone on fairly long <laughs> like I feel bad and I don't feel bad I feel bad that more fables had to die under our watch but at the same time it's like these guys deserved it they knew what they were doing I'm not buying any sob story they give me they knew what they were doing Georgie's a piece of shit. Always has been a piece of shit. Growing a conscience at the at the not even a conscience. He's being petty because the crooked man tried to sell him out. No, I'm not buying it. Even with Vivian. She she knew exactly what she was doing. Spreading her curse to everyone else, and yet saying that she cares about everyone. No. <laughs> Just sucks that more people had to die, you know. But what are you gonna do? Um, at this point, I think there's gonna be one, maybe two more videos left. Um, because I know we're pretty much coming up near the end. I mean, I know we're on the last episode anyway, but yeah, we're we're coming up near the end. Um, bittersweet in a bit of a way. It's. It, it's nice to like kind of wrap up the story but at the same time like this game is so fucking good like I'm really loving the story but all good things right anyway guys I uh, hope you're enjoying the playthrough thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one take care